Hello, my name is Neera Gupta and I'm a professor of sociology at the University of New Brunswick. And I'm one of the colleagues of the Health, Equity, Diversity and Inclusion BIM group of the Canadian Health Workforce Network. The theme of equity, diversity and inclusion in the healthcare workforce is important to all Canadians because every single one of us will access services in our health system. And yet much less attention historically has been paid to healthcare workers without whom there is no healthcare system. And yet the majority of those healthcare workers with whom we will interact in every health encounter that we have as Canadians are mostly women. 70% around the world of healthcare practitioners are estimated to be women. In Canada, healthcare professionals are represented by women 80%. And yet, despite the critical importance of healthcare workers to the health system, to improving our lives as patients, much of this work is devalued simply by the fact that they are women. Our research in the Canadian Health Workforce Network is trying to bring together that data and evidence on pay gaps and devaluation of the services of healthcare providers by the fact that they are women, by the fact that they are perhaps members of a visible minority, or perhaps received some of their training in a different country, independently of their own skills and contributions. And so the importance of attracting, retaining, and including healthcare workers who are women, who are other members of equity seeking groups is of paramount importance if we want to attract and retain top talent for a high performing healthcare system for all Canadians. I have been inspired to look at healthcare workforce and in particular the equity, diversity and inclusion considerations for many years. When I first started working in this field though, evidence was um, fragmented, shall we say. Ironically, it took a global pandemic to bring to the forefront what we knew were some of the challenges that were already existing. But the pandemic critically highlighted the role of healthcare workers, the humanity of healthcare workers, and the realization that healthcare workers themselves are subject to many of the ethnic, gender based, and other types of inequities. So, this area is becoming increasingly in the public spotlight. The demand for open and transparent data is becoming increasingly important, not just on the population health side, but in parallel on the healthcare workforce side as well. Because we want our healthcare system to be as equitable as the society at large that we wish to see. So if I was to recommend to somebody why they would want to join the Canadian Health Workforce Network, I'm specifically thinking of the next generation of researchers, students at the graduate level, even the undergraduate level, even high school, where if you're starting to think about what kind of meaningful career do I want to have that can have a tangible impact on the future health of Canadians, then I would encourage you to consider joining now the Canadian Health Workforce Network. There's no cost to join. All it takes is a little bit of interest in the topic, a willingness to learn, and a willingness to connect with others across the country who, like you, are devoting our time and our learning paths to better understanding how we can use the data and evidence to build a more equitable healthcare workforce to meet the needs of the Canadian population.